Today, we've got some packages to open, but while we do so, I actually want to talk about something that I feel is pretty important for the community. So let's go ahead and get into that while we open these. Now, if you saw the title of this video, you probably have a basic idea of what I want to talk about, and that is whether or not the Nerf community can be toxic at times. I know it's not a fun topic to talk about, but it is something that I think warrants a discussion, and why not have it now? Uh, first up, we've got a package from Blaster Tech, which is always exciting. I always love seeing what Dean is up to over there, but I believe I know what is exactly in here. Ho ho, and there it is. Bam, Blaster Tech patch. Thank you, Dean. I will rock this with pride and honor. It is absolutely awesome. We're gonna pop this up on the board. Jang, thank you for all that you do in our community. Enjoy, Dean. I appreciate it, Dean. Thank you for all you do as well. You've been around for a while. Now, I want to start this off by saying there's a lot of good in this community. A lot of good, and I absolutely love that. But every so often we see things pop up that lead to less than pleasant uh, representation of our community. One of those things that I'm going to talk about specifically today is... Uh, whether or not there is a proper way to nerf, if there is a best way to nerf or a wrong way to nerf. Um, this is something that pops up every so often and the results always get to me a little bit. They always frustrate me a little bit and bum me out. So let's talk a little bit about why. Despite the growth in the nerf hobby over the last few years, we are still an exceptionally small community. A very small hobby with a very niche market. And we really want to grow this hobby as much as we can. And these kinds of threads and these posts and these views can be detrimental to that, especially when things get hostile at times, which can happen and has happened. Now, the reason that I really don't like these posts about nerfing properly or uh, the best way to nerf, quote unquote, is that nerf is, despite its small size, a diverse hobby with many different ways to play. And when you try to limit that, you're essentially telling people, no, you're doing it wrong. You're having fun wrong and it's ruining something, some inherent aspect or purity of, of nerfing, which uh, to me is almost absurd. I have a, a viewpoint that as long as you are, one, not purposely trying to bring harm to another person, yes, we can talk about, you know, high velocity games being an inherent hard tip darts at 300 FPS, it's probably gonna sting. I'm talking about like trying to harm someone um, on purpose or trying to actively ruin someone else's experience. As long as you're not doing either of those two things and you're having fun, you're doing it right. That's my, that's my quick take. Uh, if you want a, a TLDR, I suppose you could say, uh, on, on my viewpoint on this, this is a second battle belt for me. Uh, I have one of these, but I grabbed a second one because I want to be able to run my katana mag loadout with these uh, Edmund Centron katana mag holders. So I've got this to now have a specific one. That one I ordered for myself. And this should be the belt to hold it all together. But to get a little bit more into, I guess, the details of why this bothers me so much is that it promotes a I'm better than you, or my way is better than your way, I'm superior, your inferior mindset, that really starts to show itself in some of these threads. And it's always disappointing because one of the things I love about this hobby is how inclusive it is and how supportive the community can be. I have met so many amazing people in this hobby and in this community that it, it never ceases to blow my mind how many wonderful people there are. Um, and it just, it's so saddening to me when I see things take a negative turn. Every time one of these threads pops up, all it's doing is trying to segregate the community into different groups rather than just nerfers and actively trying to push some people out, which we can't really afford to do as a small growing community. 
So this is why this is so important to me. I really want to emphasize the good and, and all of the good that this community does while also saying that there's some bad stuff that we really need to work on. We're not perfect. None of us are. And I get that we can get heated. We can get um, impassioned about the types of nerf that we love and our preferences on how to nerf. There's nothing wrong with, with having your own preference and your own viewpoint and your own favorite style. But just because it's your favorite and what you enjoy most doesn't mean that it's the only way to nerf. And again, I'm all for sharing and promoting the way that you enjoy nerfing, the way that you like to play, and the way you want to bring to other players. But at the same, uh, at the same time, be open to the way others try it. Don't be afraid to try a different way. Maybe something's changed since the last time you tried, like uh, an HVZ game. Maybe that wasn't your cup of tea. Maybe it wasn't the greatest at the time, but that doesn't mean you will never enjoy that type or it will always be bad. Maybe you just had one bad experience. Maybe you went to a game where uh, the moderators didn't quite have it together at the time and maybe they've improved. Uh, don't, don't count out an entire subset of the community just because you had one bad experience if that was the case to you leading to your viewpoints that one type is different than the other. Uh, this... But <laughs> this is a package from the Bubba Lolo, who has a stamp that he is making good use of. Hi, Changular. We have um, we have some darts, a good amount of darts. We can just make it rain. What is planes? On the topic of the good of the hobby and the fun that we like to have, Bobo is a great example of being able to have fun and not take yourself too seriously or the hobby too seriously. He is always having fun with what he does and um, he's always he's always sending interesting things such as planes, trains, and automobots. I, I I'm a little bit afraid to open this, but I will I will look at what that is later. Uh, nice new business card from Bobo. Uh, oh, K26 for the Kronos. That is awesome. We will definitely be using that. <gasps> he knows me. Uh, I have been so enamored with the speed loaders for the Kronos, and Bobo has sent me one. Thank you, Bobo. This is awesome. I am. There's more in here? There's more. And strike patch. Yes. Yes. This is going up on the board as soon as I put some Velcro on the back of this. God, it doesn't end. It doesn't. There's just more darts. Just everywhere. We're on the topic of... What? Bobo. Bobo. Amazon for helping with the videos. Bobo. You're making this video... Absurd. Absurd, my friend. Old school nerf stickers. H oh, a Zoom H1 recorder clip so I can put my audio recorder on something. An OG Bobo Strife Trigger. Oh, this is going to be fun. Bobo is just... He's such a good man. He's such a good man. So... We're going to do a lot with these in another video, but I don't want to get too detracted from the topic of bringing good to the hobby. Uh, I don't want to see threads where people talk about, you know, negative, not that we shouldn't ever talk about negativity or negative aspects in the hobby or critique. That's all very important stuff. But at the same time, we can share our opinions, our critiques, our views without attacking other people, without making blanket claims that really seek to destroy entire aspects or viewpoints of, of people that just want to have fun and they aren't harming anyone, they aren't making anything worse. Just because someone nerfs in a different way doesn't mean that they are inferior in any way. Like I said, as long as you're not doing the two things that I personally uh, said earlier, in my mind, you're nerfing right. You're having fun, you're having a good time, and you are spreading the joy of nerf, which is really, I think, what we all want. I, I think 
in the end, we all want the same thing, and that is the growth of this hobby, which is happening. It's ha been happening at a very good rate the last couple years, and I want to see it continue to grow. And I really want us to have a welcoming environment for the new people that do show up. Captain Slug said he was sending something my way uh, after I had some issues with the last uh, installation of the R1 to R2 conversion parts. So we'll see what is in this right here. Ah. All right. Woo. Ho ho! Clear plunger tube. That's exciting. He hooked me up. What? Okay. This is, this is far more than I was expecting. Speaking of uh, people going above and beyond in the community, we I think this is like an entire entire up upgrade to R two components. Captain Slugman, you just hooked it up. This is this should alleviate all of the issues that I was having. Oh, is this trans? Oh, baby. Sorry, I'm gonna have a little moment here on camera. Or are we just gonna enjoy that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but I just, I, I think there's a way to be respectful to all parties involved. Oh, oh, it's so nice. It even still has the Fabu Burn in the text print, like the special, it's hard to see from this angle, but uh, Captain Slug, this is, this is amazing. I am absolutely amped to now update the Caliburn again, and we'll do that a separate time because we don't, again, don't want to lose focus on the topic at hand, which is respect. In the end, I think that's what this all boils down to, respect. Do you respect other people in the hobby? Do you want people to respect you? To me, if you want to receive spec respect, you give respect. Whether or not you agree with someone, you can respectfully disagree and have a conversation. Instead of just insulting someone and saying they're doing something wrong, why not take the time to have a conversation with that person? Explain your viewpoints, your thought process, and maybe they'll engage and respectfully return that thought with theirs. And you can kind of start to understand where both sides are coming from. And maybe you'll find a middle ground where you can meet at and both be happy. Maybe you won't. That's okay. You're not going to agree about everything in every single situation. That's not going to happen. It's not realistic. But the important thing is, if we have a respectful environment, it's conducive to growth. And new players. They come into it and they see people actually having discussions and actually respecting one another rather than just attacking, that's somewhere they're going to want to stay. I know that's where I want to stay. Uh, if it wasn't for the awesome community here in the Bay Area, I never would have gotten into the Nerf hobby as heavily as I have. So to me, it's paramount. It's of the utmost importance that we continue to be respectful to each other and be helpful and try to understand where people are coming from in their points of view. Now, we have a lot of darts. Oh, yes. This is from Lytake. Uh, they are sending darts for the Bay Area BTA group that we are running here. So big thank you to Lytake for sending these. Uh, there are thousands of uh, AccuFakes. And we've got like two layers of AccuVakes and then uh, however many boxes of worker Gen 1 or Gen 2 darts that they, they sent. This is an awesome start to our community pool for our competitive games. Thank you, Lytake. This is awesome. Just a couple closing thoughts here. The Nerf community as a whole is capable of amazing things. I've seen it firsthand. So many wonderful designs and ideas and awesome things that this community creates. It's also a very passionate community. Uh, it's a community that, that can easily get riled up when their view is challenged at times or something they don't agree with pops up. It's human nature. When you're passionate about something, you can get fired up about defending it and, and, and your viewpoints. But it's important to remember that this is a hobby. We are, are all here for fun, regardless of the way we participate or partake 
in that hobby. And I mean, that passion, whether it manifests, manifests itself in good ways, in bad ways, um, I mean, in compassionate ways, in, in ways that, you know, we continue to see all throughout our community. Uh, I mean, we just got to remember, we, we maybe shouldn't take ourselves so seriously all the time. It is good to step back and just remember that we are all here for fun, for the same reason of enjoying playing and modifying uh, children's toys and having a good time doing so, whether it's at a small game where you're running stock-only blasters to a competitive 5v5 BTA setting like I've been doing here. Uh, we're all in it for, in the big picture, the same reason. Fun, camaraderie, the growth of the community, uh, friendships. All these things bring us together and keep us together. And I think, I think it's awesome. I think it's wonderful. And I just think that uh, when we get to those points where we may have disagreements, let's resolve them respectfully because there's a lot of ways to nerf and not a single one is the right one. They're all right. And that's not to say that certain events or game types shouldn't adhere to strict rules and that all events should be just a wild west of just wing it and see how it goes. No. Structure has a place and, and all these different variations have places. It's just a matter of having discussions to figure out what those are and doing so in a respectful manner. And as long as you're having fun and not doing harm to others, like I said, I think you're doing it right. So with that said, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of this kind of style of discussion. Let me know your thoughts on this topic in general, actually. And uh, thank you to everyone who sent stuff. That was surprising and, and appreciated. Thank you. And thank you to everyone watching and everyone who wants to have a discussion in the comments down below. Um, I really hope this at least gets across my opinions and I always enjoy reading and hearing yours. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular and I'll see you next time.